Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a tiny home speed build. This was very much inspired by a few other simmers who have done similar things. Uh, more so the carport part that I'm building currently. That's the inspired part. The rest of it's all just my randomness and whatever. However, we have an issue. I just about five minutes ago tried to go back into the sims to test out part of this build because there's a part in the build that might be unusable and I'm not 100% sure. I completely was dumb and didn't test it out while I was doing the build. I don't know why. Anyway, so I go back into the game, attempt to go back into the game, and the Origin app then tells me that there's an issue and I need to have reinstalled the entire game. I had a, I had a mini heart attack, I will say. Because I don't want to reinstall the entire game, because that will be then we we will have lost the entire island living family we've been playing during our let's play, and I really don't want to lose that family because we're so far into the game, guys. We're so far, so I'm hoping that that was just a glitch, and the next time I open an Origin app, it just updates the app, and then it's all good from there. Um, you will find out in my next video what happened with that situation. <laughs> Um, so tomorrow I'll attempt to figure that out because right now it's a bit late, so I'm not going to do that. But tomorrow I will try and figure that out and hopefully we get everything back in order. So yeah, alright. Let me kind of go through this with you guys now that I've explained that situation. So what am I doing over here on the left? I wanted to make like an open, uh, an open living space with like a, what is it? Sky, not sky port. Oh my god, skylight. And I thought using the roof tool would be a cool little feature. Give it that really neat, like, round-ish look to it. And this is the part that I was a little leery about using, is can the Sims make, go inside of a roof and use anything you put inside the roof? I was able to put a couch and a TV in, and, a, like, a, a bookcase in there. But I'm thinking, after I built this and I exited the game, I was like, could they even get in there and use it? Like, I'm not sure. Because, I mean, I was able to put, as you can clearly see, I was able to put, like, a room, a door frame. So, I'm like, I guess they can get in there. And I could actually, you know, change the flooring, as you just saw. So, I'm just like, oh, no, what if they can't use anything in there? Then that will be a built for nothing, and it'll just be decoration. But I can't go back in there, guys, and tell you if it worked or not, because currently my game is out of order until tomorrow when I try and fix it. So, right now, I'm trying to find countertops for the kitchen, which it's basically you walk in, you walk into the house, and the kitchen's right there, obviously. Because it's a tiny, tiny home, so not much is going to go on downstairs. <laughs> um, I, You know, I haven't used the, um, not the ice cream pack. What's it called? Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but is it Outdoor Retreat? Uh, what is it called? I don't know. Whatever the ice cream pack logo is for, that's the pack I don't use too much in my builds. So I figured I would use that, f that for this particular um, build. It looked like it was going to be really cool, cool feature. So I used that pack. It was great. looks amazing. Small, tiny, yet roomy, and looks good. Finding wallpaper to suit the flooring was kind of difficult, so I did have to change the flooring, as you'll notice, and just now I'm changing the flooring because the wallpaper just wasn't going to work with that dark brown wood floor. So I went with that. Seemed like it was okay. So there's that. Yay. Got to put an overhead over the stove, of course. Can't forget that. There's so many, but yet so many of them, I, I can never use, there's so many of the overheads I've never used in the game. It's just because the builds I do don't really suit the height requirements, so it's like, why are they even there? I just like the short ones, they're simple, and they work. You know what I'm saying, right? Yep, now I gotta add my little clutter to the kitchen. Can't forget about that. I love this new, okay, so this white little uh, surface, what's it called? Uh... Not a bookcase, but whatever they call it. A little shelf. 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 Why can't I think of that? Anyway, they gave us a white shelf. Um, way, a few packs of patches ago, it was never there. The white color was never in that swatch. But then magically, the Sim people were like, ooh, they really want a white, a white uh, shelf. Okay, let's give it to them. And we got one, finally. So yay for that. Oh, that's amazing. At this point, I was trying to put something on top of the fridge, but it wasn't working. It just wasn't going to work in my favor, so I gave up. And here we go using a glass counter. I don't use that glass counter too often, but I thought, I'm sticking, I want to stick with the theme of using the pack that I was going for, which was the ice cream pack. It's not the ice cream pack, it's called something else, but I can't remember offhand what it's called. But that's what I want to use the chairs for, and a glass table seemed to fit the needs and the suiting of those chairs. There we go, some more clutter. 
need some paintings. I wanted to fill that little space over there, and really, paintings were the only option I had at this point. So I was like, oh, well, we're just going to have a painting. It's fine. I went through every single wall element there was, and because the stairs are in the way, a lot of wall elements weren't going to work. So I was like, well, what do we do here? So I did add a painting at some point. Did I already add it? I don't remember. Yeah, but I added a painting. And over here, um, I didn't realize, but when you add a light fixture above the table, kitchen table, it also affects the wall placement. So I couldn't add anything right there, and I was really getting upset about that. I kept trying to find something to put there because it was just so blank, and I was like, no. I think I eventually found something. It was a random painting, and that was the best I could do. I wanted to use that piece right there, but it just it wouldn't fit anywhere in my kitchen, and it looked kind of bland way over there on the left side. So I was like, nah. So eventually I found a wonderful painting, which also used the ice cream pack, which is perfect. So that, that, that was perfect and awesome. So this is the first time I've actually gone through every single painting and seen what everyone has for swatches. And yeah, took me a bit to do, but we got there. All right, and there you see I put the family photo painting over there in the corner, and that was the final painting I went with. Um, it's fine, you know, it was okay. The only problem I had with the um, other with the living area that I was trying to create was that some the placement of some of the stuff wouldn't work because the roofing was too too small. So I didn't have to figure that out. I was like, oh no, where are we gonna put the TV now? And I was like, can't put it over there. Can't put it there. I mean, I could put the couch there, but I couldn't put a TV there. So it was kind of like pointless. I thought, well, what if I get rid of the door frame? Still wasn't going to work because the roofing was way off. So I had to move everything and flip it around. I didn't realize that until like a few minutes later. I was like, oh, I want to fl flip it around to the left side instead of the right side. There we go. See? I figured it out now. I'm like, oh, sweet. So TV went over there because it couldn't go anywhere else. So that's fine. I like this purple couch from... Uh, the season pack. That was pretty neat. Purple is one of my favorite colors, so I thought I would use that as a nice little accent. I was going to use that purple table from family pack, but that was too bright of purple. I was like, nah, we're good. We'll just go with what we have, so it's fine. Uh, I want to add a plant somewhere, so I put it over there. Um, yeah. I'm add the bookcase over here. Look at that, all right. And that little space way over there by the wood, by the skylight, I couldn't do anything with that because it was too close to the roof, so that was kind of having to be empty. So I had to add a little bit of a chair and a, a painting over there, and that's the best I could do. The rest of the room really couldn't be, um, I couldn't add anything else after that because it was like, oh, no, nope, you're in the way of the roof, no way. So that's about as decorated as I could get it, so it's fine. Add a little welcome mat, and now we're going to work on the upstairs room. Now, I wanted to add a, like, double bed, a double queen bed or whatever, but it wasn't going to fit because we really needed a bathroom. So I had to figure out what to do. I was like, well, if we're going to add a bathroom, i got to add a single bed. So it's a single family home, really. It's not ideal for a couple. I mean, you could expand the lot because the lot is bigger than what it should be for a tiny home. Um, I just happened to have an empty lot that I wasn't going to use. I'm like, oh, I'll just build it on this lot. Who cares? So we did that, and then I found some banisters, which was kind of a challenge because I was like, oh, I don't want to, because at this point, I usually would have used a, um, like a half wall, but that was going to cut into the banister, so I was like, oh, I got to use fencing instead, so trying to find a color to match it, but it was kind of hard. So now I'm finally adding the wallpaper, which is amazing. I went with, I think, did I go with purple? No, I didn't. I went with something else, like a darkish gray, and I like it. It's pretty neat. And I went with my same and my usual bathroom tiles. I love bathroom tiles, guys. That's my thing. I just, for some reason, I can't get into the whole stone bathroom or the concrete or any of that stuff. So that's usually what I do when I make a bathroom. I just go with the standard tile. And look at that. Shower, toilet, and a sink. Got it in there, finally. So yay for that. I can't add a tub, though, sadly, but that's okay. And now I was trying to find another wall fixture to go over here next to the dresser. And I realized after a few moments that there's a door in the way and you can't place items that are in the way of the door. So again, I'm like an idiot not realizing that. 
until like a few minutes later. And I'm just like, well, what can I put there? It looks so bland. Uh. And that's kind of stupid of me to be doing that. So I'm like, that's great. And now we're moving over here to behind the bed. I thought I'd add a little light over there. Because I didn't really have a place to put like a regular standalone light because... Obviously, there's not much room in the room in here. It's very cramped, so I got to I got to I got had to plan my placement accordingly to suit the needs of the space. I was able to put a plant over there, which was nice. However, I do delete the plant like later on in the build because I wanted to add another uh, accent to the outside slash inside. So I'm trying to find a painting to go over this staircase. Some paintings work and some don't. It was very tricky to figure out which one did work and which ones didn't work. But eventually, I came up with something really nifty. Okay, yay. So we went that, that's the painting we went with because it's all I could find that would fit there. Yeah, it was just a big to-do. That's it. Now I'm going to add some windows finally because I realized after that, I was like, wait a minute, where's the windows? There's no windows. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? So I got that window there. And then, of course, the kitchen, I'm like, oh, no, we can only place one window. Oops. So I put a window over the sink, and there's my one window. Yay. Well, I put one right there, but it doesn't really do anything. It's just an accent window, really. And then I had this whole idea of the greenery to go all the way around that. So it looked like, like all the windows were, like, missing because of the greenery or something. But that was a kind of a hot mess of an idea. Yeah, it, it worked out eventually in my favor, but it took forever to get it to work out in my favor. And then you'll see here how the, there's now brown inside of the roofing. I couldn't help that. You can't change the inside of your roofing. And uh, once you pick a roof color, the whole roof's that color. So that's that, in a nutshell. So that's our outside decor. Looks pretty neat. I like it, so yay. At this point, it's kind of almost looking like a modern build, sort of. But that's not really what I was going for. So now I'm going to try this greenery thing. And it looks cool for now, but I had to delete it because I had a better idea with it. That looked a bit too much. So I was like, I got to delete this. I got to redo my idea. I got to rethink this. It's going to look really better the other way. So delete that. Went in here and found the white shelving and decided to use the white shelving as accents. Since I have no other options for accent pieces because I might have short walls. So did that, added two windows there. Finally, even though one of the windows is not really existent, you can't really see it, it's there. It looks neat, so yay. And then just some random greenery over there, even though it looks kind of weird, but whatever. Now for the roof. Oh, my favorite part was the roof. Oh, yeah. So I had to use this, uh, I used, of course, this half gable roof, because, you know, why not, right? Trying to find a roof color that would suit this build perfectly, and land with that. Go, adding our little those things. Uh, yeah. So we're almost done, however, we still have that little landing to go, and that was my most exciting part. So there's that, oh, look at that, oh yeah, our foundation, gotta fix that, can't have that looking weird, so picking foundation was a challenge too, couldn't figure out what to go with, I was just very like, I'm like, what do I want, I don't know. So, yeah, and now I'm going to do on the back side. The same exact kind of idea I did on the other side, but this with but with more greenery. Yeah, look at that. Oh, so neat. Look at that. Oh, it's cool, isn't it? I like it. Oh, it was really cool. So that's why I went with that. More windows over here. However, over here I had to do smaller windows because obviously those bigger windows weren't going to work because the roof was in the way. So here we go. There's that. Yay. Thought if I moved that, it would look even better, but no. Got to do our classic at the computer desk thing. Cannot have a build on a computer. My last build, which was Monica's apartment, that didn't have a computer because she didn't have one. It was the 90s. Not many people had a computer in the 90s. So Monica Geller never had a computer, so couldn't add that in the build. Had to make that build very authentic. So, yeah. I tried to add curtains to this window, and it wouldn't work. I don't know why. I kept going on the outside window only. So I gave up. I finally gave up adding curtains to that window and was like, you know what, fine. You don't want curtains, you don't want shades, it's fine. I understand. And here we go, I'm adding the outdoor patio. 
so yeah it was going to be an accent piece it was going to have like flowers and trees and shrubs all the up there but after doing that spending time on that it didn't work out so you know what we did we put a door and we made it an outside balcony yes that's what we did changed my idea last minute had to find the glass door um there's two sets, there's three sets of glass doors there's two glass doors with the spa day thing and then there was one glass door that came with the standard pack, which is that one there I'm using. I like that one. I've never used that door before. So first time for everything. So I did have green grass as my original thought for the, 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 the deck patio idea, but no. So I went with concrete. It looks fine. It accents the, the uh, house siding anyway, so it works out. It worked fine. Wanted to add this, like a nice lounge chair, but... When I saw a hot tub, I was like, ooh, girl, we should add a hot tub. <laughs> and when I put the hot tub in, it took up the entire balcony, so that chair was non-existent. So, yeah, I thought I'd add a grill maybe or something, but I was like, oh, I could add a grill maybe or something. But I'm like, no, I don't want to have a grill. I have a stove. That's fine. So I nixed that idea completely as of just that second wanted to add some fun, something fun to the deck, but couldn't find anything that would fit and be worth it. Thought, oh, maybe a bird feeder. I was like, no, that's boring. Okay. And then I saw this hot tub, and that's when I got the idea. After I added my accent piece, that didn't really work, as you just saw. Yeah, see, now I'm trying to put the hot tub in there. Look at that. It barely fits. So I was like, oh no, what do I do? And I was like, do I delete something? Is there another hot tub option here? They don't give you a second hot tub option. You get one only. I thought we had two different options for hot tubs, but I only saw this one for the outdoor living. And I was like, are you sure? I'm pretty sure we had a second option. I didn't see the second option in my library, unless I just passed by it. Oh, wait, I think I see it now. Guys, I'm an idiot. Watching my replay, I just found it in the stupid gallery. Oh, I'm an idiot. So I had another option, but I went with that one instead. It's fine. So I was able to add two windows over there, and that's about it. <laughs> Couldn't add any more windows in there. Oh, no, wait, did I delete them? I delete. Oh, yeah, I put them over there. I put them in the front. Because I couldn't put them in the back because that was just going to ruin things. Oh, no, I deleted them? I deleted them. See guys, I didn't pay attention to my own build. So I think that's the majority of it. Um, at this point, I'm now trying to add like shrubbery and trees. Um, but that was basically my entire inside build. But now we're doing the outside, outside part. I wanted to add like rock stoneware, you know, stone driveway. Now when I say driveway, I mean driveway because I'm going to scale up a toy car. That's right, guys and dolls. Scaled up a toy car to suit the needs of what I want this build to really look like. Because we don't have cars in The Sims 4. We had cars in The Sims 3 and I believe in The Sims 2. But The Sims 4, it just wasn't something they wanted to do. And that's fine. I understand. It's fine. We had it in two different option Sims games. It's fine. Sims 4 doesn't need cars. We can perfectly use Ubers. Or just teleport to the next travel place. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't add a trash can to the inside of my house. I just realized that. I only added the trash can outside. Oops. Well, anyway, guys, if you download this build, please add, please add a trash can, because I didn't do one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't know how I just thought of that right now. Yeah. All right, moving the mailbox over there. And now is when I'm going to try and, I think, find the car. I think the car was in decor, but I thought it was in, in, the, in the children's section for some reason. And I was like, oh no, wait, it's in decor. <laughs> Over here somewhere. And I, I tried using this one, and uh, scaling up this model wasn't really the best idea. Where is it? What did I use? What am I doing? There we go, yep. Yeah. So I did that, but look at it. It just looks so weird. So I was like, I better choose the other car instead. That's a little bit better. 
So I think I want the sports car. Was it blue I think I chose? I'm pretty sure it was blue. And for those who don't know how to do the um, that thing that I just did, you hold down your alt key and use the right and left brackets. The left bracket makes it smaller, the right bracket makes it bigger. However, I don't know if the alt key is what you use for Windows. I only know this for a MacBook, so there's that. So look at that. Awesome. Carport, car driveway. I love it, don't you? So adding some shrubbery to just give it some more depth and more, more of a real homey feel. That was the last of what I was doing in my build, so yeah. It took me a few minutes to figure out what kind of trees I wanted to add here because it already felt like it had trees, but it was just like, the lot was so huge, I was like, I need to do something. The lot needs to be like, more, something, something more needs to be added to this lot. You know what I'm saying? So finally, I found these really cool bushes, and they seem to work well. I had this really neat idea eventually, and I added some hedges in front of them. Uh, what was that one I used? I, I was looking for some hedges that were going to work, and those two weren't really going to work in my favor. They were really neat, but it was like, no. So I believe what I did is I went over here and I grabbed the, where is it, the square one. Not those, no. That's grass. There we go. So I'm using these and I'm just putting them all along the front. And these actually connect together so it looks really awesome. So that was my thought process. So I eventually did have to move that little, I think it was a pine tree I added or something. So a little pine tree in the corner has to go. Later, move it, get out of here. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the front. I thought I'd add a dogwood tree or something, but no. It wasn't, that wasn't going to help the situation. I wanted and needed to add the same thing and let it kind of like an L shape around the front. I didn't realize that was going to be my um, go-to option until like a few seconds later. <laughs> I was like, oh, is that what I'm going to do? Okay, cool. Cherry tree wasn't going to work. Maple tree. What? Why is that there? It's too tiny. It looks just weird. So, yeah, okay. Nah, that looked kind of weird too. That's way too big. Oh my god, no! That would have looked okay, but it just seemed like there was too much space. So, eh, that was alright, but not my favorite choice, to be honest. I don't know. I put those two there, and it just looked like, alright, that's weird. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got rid of one of the trees, I think it was, didn't I? Or did I keep them both? I can't remember. Oh no, I think, yeah, I kept them both. Okay, so here I go, adding to the front the same kind of idea we did on the other side, just because it looked really neat. And that essentially is all I did. That was the end of the build. That's the end of the build, guys. I didn't do much more than that. I just kind of showed you a little bit around it. And I hope you liked this build. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It's in the gallery under BSB Lover 89. Thanks for watching the speed build. Please like, comment, subscribe. And any suggestions for future challenges for my builds or anything on this channel, comment below with your suggestions. I will literally love you and I will comment back. Thank you guys for watching as always and I will see you in the next video as soon as I can get one out. Bye!